continuing to our module 3. In this module 3, we have started with a video of how to install MetaMask, what is the basic of a smart contract and a Bitcoin structure. We'll be covering in this module 3, as you can see, the complete lesson plan, the MetaMask, the smart contract, the Remix ID, how to use Truffle, how to build a decentralized application and finally we'll be using this decentralized application. So this module 3 is a module which will be having a lot of hands-on and a lot of learning. In this session today, we'll be speaking about much more of the MetaMask. Before we continue with what is coming in the video, let's see what we have already covered in this module 3. We have talked about MetaMask, what is MetaMask, what are different type of wallets and how to install a MetaMask. We have also talked what is a smart contract, what is a blockchain structure, what differentiates between an Ethereum structure and what differentiates between a Bitcoin structure, how a smart contract is linked with a Ethereum structure. So how a smart contract acts as a medium and interface between the user decentralized application and a blockchain platform. Having seen all this, let's see what is in the offspring, what we'll be covering in the video today. So today we'll be speaking about the MetaMask, the accounts of the MetaMask, the different testing networks and Ether scan. So let's begin our journey with hands-on experience on accounts, testing networks and Ether scan. In this session today, we'll be showing you how we can add an account in a MetaMask, what is an account, what are the settings of MetaMask and how does the account is represented in an Ether scan. So let's start with an hands-on session. You can practice along the video or afterwards as you wish. I'll be demonstrating you and you can learn while this demonstration. So it's an hands-on session the screen would be visible to you what steps you have to do you have to follow as per the steps we'll be doing on the screen as you can see on the screen this is a google chrome browser we have opened the ethereum website you can open any website that is just to give you a flair of what we are learning in this module we'll be talking about a lot about ethereum so we have already installed the MetaMask as a plugin. What you have to do is on your browser, on the right hand side, there are extensions. We have already added this extension of MetaMask. So click on this extension. The extension would be added over here. It will ask for the password for my, because I've already added the password, so it is not asking for the password. So this type of screen would be visible. So let's study what information do we get in this MetaMask account. This is very important point. The MetaMask is represented by this fox-like symbol. In the middle, click on the middle, you will find different networks of MetaMask. The Ethereum mainnet, this is the main network of Ethereum, where it shows the actual ethers. For developers, Ethereum has given different testing networks like Robsten, Coven, Ringbe, and Gorilla. These are the testing networks where we, the developers, develop their blockchain application and use these testing networks. The, these networks behave in the same way as the Ethereum main network. The difference is that they do not require the actual ethers. Ether is the cryptocurrency of Ethereum. We have already seen it. These testing networks involve testing ethers. The testing ethers are funded into the network. We'll be learning in the next video how to get fund in the testing ethers. So these testing ethers by, are funded by doing 
a small piece of exercise what which will be learning further so this window is very important we should know that these are the four testing networks you can use any type of testing network we will be exploring ring b and go relay in our course on this blockchain course the third figure this image this is your image you can put your image also as a dp we put in desktop in whatsapp in facebook so you can put your image over here or you can leave it like this this is the account address we talked about externally owned account so the metamask is an external wallet which is controlling the smart contract whenever the smart contract is executed the transaction is executed the confirmation is taken from the metamask account that whether you want to run this transaction or not so this is the account address which is also hashed so this account address represents you on the ethereum platform so this is the account address you can copy the account address by simply clicking on it zero ethers shows the amount of ethers present in your account currently we have started from the very beginning so it shows zero ethers in the account then there are other features which we will be seeing those features also of the metamask now having seen the basics of the metamask let's explore it further this is one account but when we make an application on a blockchain platform we are talking about decentralized application means application is decentralized it is distributed so we require more than one accounts to test our application so one way is that we create different metamask accounts by installing it on different browsers or the more handy way is that metamask gives us a feature that we can have multiple accounts within the same wallet like this is one account we can have more than one account in the same wallet so let's see how can we create a new account in this wallet so we'll click on this image this is our account then it says create account it gives us that you can create second account if you want to give a name to this account you can give a name to this for example i have given mooks or it otherwise it will come account 2 if you want you can give a name to this account so you have given this name account 2 so you can see we have given this name account 2 was named as mooks and it comes over here if you see the address this is a different address it represents a different account so one person different image also one person can have more than one account in a wallet we can have more than one account if we click over here it shows that this is account 1 and this is account 2 so you can have more than one accounts over here so for your testing purpose for your decentralized application for your testing of applications you require more than one account so this is the first step that you can create more than one account then we will see that how can we import an account for example if i am already having an account and i want to import that account into this browser into this system i can import that account into the system so now i'll be showing that how can we import an account i'll be importing my existing account in this system so let's see how can we import the account to import the account we will click over here click at import account and it says that how do you want to import the account so i say that i want to import the account by using the private key so i have already copied the private key of one of my account and i have pasted it over here and then i click on import so by clicking on import it's import the account it says that account 3 if i choose this ring b test network 
it gives the ethers also see so over here now in this wallet we are having three accounts account zero account one this moves and this account three so this account three shows that it has been imported from some other browser because this was my account on my other system so i have imported it over here so to import this account we have to get the private key of the account as already told in the previous video that this externally owned account is secured by the private key now we will see further that what is the private key and how this account is represented in the ether scan and other things so let's explore what are the features which we get in the settings of the account so let's click on settings when we click on settings it gives us different parameters to know about so before we begin with any blockchain application it is advisable to go through the learnings which we get in these settings so click on general it gives that the currency rate the primary currency we are using is ether the language is english and all these things are hidden then shifting to advanced settings this is something which is very important to know state logs if you will download this state logs it will give you the complete history of what you have done in this metamask wallet for that particular account whatever that account has done means it has created a smart contract a block has been added ethers has been transferred so every state log is maintained so that is why we say that as it is an encryptable digital ledger so it gives us a view so you can download the state logs and see the state logs that how the logs represents for your account if it is a new account you have created it just now the log would be only for three four lines it would be a json file you can open it in any notepad other settings also let's explore other things also contacts add remove manage your accounts security and privacy so this is something which is we should see reveal secure secret recovery phase the phase which you have copied initially if you have somehow missed it you can again copy it from here for your wallet that what is the security recovery phase in your phrase in your account other things are also there so let's see those things you can explore these security settings and other settings do explore them now click on this account over here it would be copied click on the three this dots and see account details when we click on account details so when we click on account details it shows us the barcode the scan code from which we can get the account information and we can also export the private key of the account like i exported my private key and used this private key to import the account so you can get the private key of the account from here other thing which is very important to know about the metamask see this is a wallet an externally owned account you have created what activities you have done using this wallet using this account all are shown on the ether scan because it is an account which is connected with your ethereum account which we will be using in the further coming lectures so just clicking on ether scan ether scan is a website uh, another website would be opened which shows us the activities which are undergoing on the ethereum platform as 
it was an account we have chosen a ring b test network so it shows ring b dot etherscan.io so it shows the activities for this for my account on the ring b platform that this is the transaction hash a block an age from to na value how many ethers were transferred so this from this account to this account these many ethers were transferred it is age is means how many days before this transaction was done so this block is so much old this is the number of the block it was a method was transfer which method was done transfer of it and this is the hash of that particular transaction so everything is decentralized and it is all linked on the ether scan platform on the ethereum platform we'll be seeing more about the ether scan in coming videos when we'll be focusing on basically on ethereum before writing the smart contracts we'll be focusing on ethereum where we'll be speaking on it and for now you can see that you can see all the details from the metamask also you can shift to these things other things which are very much visible is for coming back to this our metamask is that this is our account number the account details the connected sites which sites are connected to the metamask at present at present we have not connected it to any site when we are not opening so it shows not connected it has not connected over anything is not connected over here so these are some of the details which are required to know about the metamask we can also know about the activities which have been done so like the activities which we are seeing on ether scan some of the recent activities we can see are recorded over here also and it is also there in the log so to summarize what we have learned is that in depth options which we explore in metamask what is an account how can we create an account how can we see the activities of that account on ether scan how can an account be imported in a metamask we have seen all these things on a ether scan on a metamask